In San Francisco, patients are waiting longer for an ambulance to arrive. Firefighters say it's a dangerous delay. There's only so much we can do in the field and that person needs an ambulance for transport and that's what we're concerned about, those patients who need that critical transport and it's not there. Firefighters say the goal is to have a patient on the road within 10 minutes. But patients like two-year-old Kaysen Shelton, who later died, waited longer. Firefighters say it took an ambulance 13 minutes to arrive. The union says delays are becoming frequent. They blame aging ambulances in for repairs and staffing challenges for the shortage, a crisis the department says it's working to address. The 911 system in terms of ambulance response has periods that are um, where it's a stressed system. A recent performance audit of the fire department says a population increase in the last seven years is driving up the number of calls for service. The increase in population um, and an increase in call volume of about 20 percent. So that's gone up. Our staffing has gone down. We're ramping that back up. It, it's a process. The department says it will take time to staff up and meet demand. 16 Academy graduates are expected to ease the crunch in August. 19 new ambulances are rolling out next summer. But the firefighters union says it's not enough. The 16 people are just going to maybe put a band in on situation. But as the run volumes increase, the population increase, it's not going to do anything to change the situation. A situation that can mean the difference between life and death.